when we try to solve one-step equations, basically we're trying to find out what number when we look at x, if we plug in for x, will give me a true statement. Now some of you could look at this and just realize 3 times what gives me negative 12. A lot of you can look at that and know it's 4. Okay, That is good. For one-step equations, most of you can look and tell. So, but the way you know, the way you figure these out, there's a procedure you need to learn, which most of you know. The procedure is basically to get the x by itself. Now, that is 3 times x. What's the opposite of times? Divide. So if I go and divide by 3, won't that cancel? Leave me just x. But if I divide by 3 over here, I also have to go over here and divide 3 as well. And that gives me negative 4. And all of a sudden, I have x by itself equals negative 4. The answer just appears, which we talked about earlier. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. It's that easy. Now, the next one. Most of you could look at this and go, oh, what minus 3 would give me negative 10? Hopefully, you could tell that's negative 7. But here's the procedure to actually find it. I want to find out what n is. What's the opposite of minus 3? Add, add 3. So if I sit here and add 3 to both sides, that cancels. You have to do it to both sides. Leave me just n. And negative 10 and positive 3 is negative 7, which was the answer we said. Again, this is a procedure to find the answer. Again, most of you could just find the answer by looking at it. You're good if this makes sense. Number three. The question is, what divided by 3 will give you negative 7? What is the answer? Anybody see it? It is negative 21. Is negative 21 divided by 3 negative 7? Yes. But there needs to be a process to find it in case you can't just look and see. Here's the process. That is A divided by 3. What's the opposite of divide? Multiply. Multiply. So in, because that's divide, you're going to multiply by 3. Won't that cancel? Okay. That's a 3. Multiply by 3, those cancel. But i got to multiply this by 3. So that cancels, leaving me A. And negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. And negative 21 divided by 3 is negative 7. And the last one, I want to get F by itself. Or basically, negative 9 equals 4 plus what? Again, that might be too hard for some people to see. So basically, I want to get f by itself. How do you get rid of that 4? How is it connected? Four it's 4 plus f. So if I want to get rid of the 4, don't you minus it? And if I minus it over here, don't I have to minus it over here? So f equals... Negative 4 and negative 9 gives you? Now, could I rewrite that as f equals negative 13? So, does 4 plus negative 13 give you negative 9? Yeah. What are we doing in all these problems? We're trying to find what the letter is. What letter, when we plug into x, will give me negative 12? What letter, when we plug in the N, when you do this, will give you negative 10? And a lot of you, again, can look at it and find the answer. But what you need to learn is this process of doing the opposites. The opposite of multiply is divide. The opposite of minus is plus. The opposite of divide is multiply. The opposite of add is minus. You do the opposites to unpackage the answer. It's the best process.